All right, nested action. Nested action is a really powerful feature and currently it's only used with the click repeat, but in the future it's gonna be available with other action. So let me show you how it's worked. What, the, what is the nested action? Sometimes you're gonna encounter the website which doesn't provide you the URL of the page, of the inside page. If you watch my bottom left over here, if I, when I hover this link, you can see the URL showing, right? But if I hover over here, this is just our playground, as you can see. This is a very simple playground we created to experiment. So uh, if I hover over here, as you can see, it's not going to show any link. Uh, even there's a page, when I click over here, there's a page inside, but there's no link like here, right? So this is where the nested action can play. You can tell Automatio, hey Automatio, click on each of these, and then after each click, go there and do something. Collect the data, take a screenshot, click some buttons, and then go back, and then continue over here and do the same. You can create a very, very complex scenarios with just this uh, click, repeat, nested action combination. So let me show you right now. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use this uh, model example ex as well because there is no link over here. So it's the actual click need to be created. I cannot access directly this model, right? So let's let's get started. So. First of all, as I said, currently the nested action work uh, with click, with click action. So you can nest action under the click. So let me show you first. Um, I'm gonna use the repeat action, and I'm gonna select this model over here. As you can see, it's selected eight, but I'm gonna unselect this page. I just need to click on the model. So there's a four, and then after it's clicking on, on this model, I want to tell, hey, uh, to collect me this data over here. But as you can see, there is some data bit behind uh, this click over here. So let me show you. I'm going to tell, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell Automatio, hey Automatio, click on this. And now I'm going to nest, how I'm going to nest, I'm just going to drag and drop inside of each. As you can see, now it's nested, right? It's not perfectly aligned, but it's nested in. So now I'm going to create another click action, and I'm just going to move it over here, and it's nested as well. And I'm going to click uh, on this element as well. So I'm going to tell Ultimate, okay, click over here, and now collect me this data. So I need to reveal this data, right? So now I'm going to use uh, extract action. Let's say this is important information for me. So I'm going to nest this as well. And maybe uh, this is important information. I'm going to nest that. And let's say the email is important information for me. So as you can see, this is this all going to happen. This all action, this nested action, going to happen after the first click. So after it's finished, uh, it's going to continue with another model click. But before that, we need to tell him, hey, close this, because he need to close, right? So we're going to use this another click action, which is going to say, hey, click on this close button over here, and then move forward. So this is the flow. This is the current flow. Uh, Let's see how this is going to work. By the way, what we can also do, we can also take a screenshot inside of the nested action, and we can watch uh, Automatio going inside of each of these model and uh, taking a screenshot and collecting, clicking and collecting this data. So this uh, this is, a, as you can see, like it looks a bit uh, more complicated, but it's very simple and you can create a, a bot very, very uh, fast. So let's, let's get started. Let's create and run.
and see what we're gonna get. Oh, this is a previous instance. Yeah, let's go. So the scraper playground, if I go again to the logs, it says it's navigating, taking the screenshots already. So this is the first screenshot inside. And now it's gonna, it need to go uh, uh, back. And as you can see, it changed it. Now it's collecting data from this page. And now it's gonna close this and gonna collect data from this page. As you can see, the ID and the hash is changing. And now again, it's gonna change. Yeah, and after this, it should uh, finish. And it's done. And as you can see, we got four rows of data, uh, the emails, uh, ID, phone, and so on. Uh, simple as that, right? So how did we do that? Once again, let's find this nested action. Of course, with combination of uh, click, repeat, it doesn't need to be click, repeat, so you can have an asset, you can have a uh, single click, normal click, uh, and then have an asset action. But yeah, look at this, how, how simple you can create these complex uh, scenarios. Very powerful. You can mix with other uh, actions and once again, create and so create uh, very good bots and solve complex scenarios out there. Enough of me. Bye.